Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? One, two, three, four. Yeah, your heart is a sun and it shines as it opens. Where well, your heart is a sun and it shines as it opens. Yeah, your heart is a sun and it shines as it opens. Where well, your heart is a sun and it shines as it opens. Yeah, your bones are the earth and they sing. With the mountains Where well, your bones are the earth And they sing With the mountains Yeah, your bones are the earth And they sing With the mountains Where well, your bones are the earth And they sing With the mountains What's up? Welcome back to another video. My name is Caitlin, if you're new, and I'm sitting on my floor in my bedroom. But today is Monday. Mitch left this morning for a work trip, so he is currently in Utah for work, and I am at home. So, turning on the, oh gosh, that did not help. That actually made things worse. Okay, never mind. But it is Monday night. I already ate dinner, and I should have showed you what I had. I'm trying to figure out, I put this camera on a new setting, and I feel like I keep getting blurry. It's Monday night. I should have shown you my dinner because I made this really good crock pot chicken recipe from Pinterest and I'll show you tomorrow whether I have it for lunch or for dinner, but I'll link the recipe below. And since Mitch is out of town, I wanted to make it easy on myself and just make a whole bunch of chicken in the crock pot for two nights of dinner, which I actually might end up eating it for lunch. We'll see how tomorrow goes because it was so good and I feel like I'm gonna want it again. But I just wanted to make it easy on myself because I hate cooking for one person so if you like live alone or your husband goes out of town or you guys like have different work schedules and don't eat together or whatever your situation is or your significant other I guess I shouldn't say husband just my husband but if you're eating dinner alone this is a good really good recipe I'll link it below I had it with some Brussels sprouts and rice and it was really really good so so I'll make sure to link that recipe below in case you're interested, but I am so exhausted. I woke up today so tired and we had the nicest weekend. I'm inserted a few clips in the beginning of this video of just the weekend and Mitch for my birthday got me this new video camera and I'm so excited to use it more. I used it this weekend a little bit and took some like fun little clips of us, but he got me this video camera that I've been wanting for my birthday. I'll, I'll link that below as well in case you're into cameras and want one or just are interested. But we played with that a little bit. We sat outside. We just had a really nice relaxing weekend. And I didn't vlog the weekend at all because we just ended up just having the best time and like staying away from our cameras and not working really. Or cameras and phone and not working really. And so it was just nice. But... It's now like 6.30 or almost 7. I'm gonna take a shower because I'm so tired. I just woke up exhausted because, oh, that's where I was going. <laughs> oh my God, this is a disaster. Bear with me, I'm almost done. The weekend was so nice and today it's like 30 degrees. And so I don't know if that's what it is. That's what I feel like it is. It's just a groggy, nasty feeling. So I'm gonna take a shower and hop in bed and just do some work from bed because I have some work to do and just finish cleaning up the kitchen and stuff. So, subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. My name's Caitlin. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? outside yourself when you have all of the world inside all right i'm getting ready for bed and i figured i would do a little bit of a skin update so my acne has definitely gone down 
for sure. Like I don't have acne flare-ups as bad and I was literally just on my period, which is great news. Um, I really just, once I stop eating bread, my acne goes down even though it's gluten-free bread. I don't know what it is about bread. It just does not sit well with me. So, um, that has been great. But my scars are definitely getting a little bit better. Still, obviously, are pretty bad. But I've definitely noticed a difference in my skin just from the acne going down. So then I can tell that my scarring is going away. One thing I use all the time are these Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads. I've been literally using them for like three years. And if you don't have money to invest in skincare, I highly recommend trying these out. When I first got them, I literally had no money. And I bought them and I would cut them in half. And I would use, and then I would put them back. But make sure you put them into like a Ziploc bag. You can reuse the Ziploc bag. Just make sure it's airtight so that the wipes don't dry out. And then it doubles the usage that you get out of them. Now I fortunately can afford to just continue to get them. But, so I don't have to do that anymore. But it is a great option if you are on a budget but unfortunately so I went to my one first appointment and had the hydrofacial I don't know if you watched that video but I went I'm starting to do like I'm starting to go to an esthetician on a regular basis and I went last month and got a hydrofacial and a mini peel and red light therapy and it helped my skin so much so I had an appointment scheduled for this week but unfortunately I had to cancel it because my husband had a work trip and I have to pick him up from the airport the day after my appointment and I have to leave at 3 and I just can't leave work that early both days just because work is crazy and unfortunately I just can't. So I had to cancel my appointment and reschedule which really sucks and now I can't get in until... April 20th, which she said that they have cancellations all the time. So she put me on the wait list. And so I'm really hoping I can get in before April 20th and just get in sometime in March so I can get a peel. My plan was to get dermaplaning and a peel, which I feel like would help my skin so much. And so I'm really hoping I can get in so I can have that done. But I definitely see my skin going down. I also have started, instead of using makeup brushes, have been washing my hands and just using my hands to apply my makeup. And I definitely feel like that helps too because I feel like some of my acne is coming from my makeup brush. Even though I wash them all the time, I don't know, I need to do some research on different makeup brushes. So if you have any makeup brushes that are just easy to clean, don't hold bacteria very well, um very like don't hold a lot of bacteria because i feel like my brush just holds crap and it just really makes me break out so if you have any suggestions please let me know i am looking for new makeup brush brushes a brush don't really care just need something but what i'm putting in my face right now this CeraVe moisturizing cream, this stuff is amazing. This is the thick one. So this is the moisturizing cream. And this is daily moisturizing lotion. So day, night, that's what I use these for. And then I don't love this stuff. Mitch has the other spot treatment. He's out of town. He has the other spot treatment that I really like. But this is okay. It's the acne control gel from CeraVe. I... CeraVe products are my ride or die. Dr. Dennis Gross and CeraVe are my ride or die products. I also use this hydrating facial cleanser in the morning. And then I use the Dr. Dennis Gross. Oh my gosh. Alpha Beta cleanser at night for my skin, for my face. And I got a sample of this Biosense Squalene, Squalene, Squalene and Marine Algae Eye Cream. 
and I really really like it but I and I was going to buy the full one of this but I've been really into watching makeup by Kellyanne her videos and she just posted about this niacinamide eye cream from first aid beauty and i'm almost out of the tub of this and when i'm out of this tub i'm gonna buy the first aid beauty lotion because it is my absolute favorite i got a sample of that too but i'm the type of person where i literally have to be out of something before i buy something else because if not i just feel like it's a waste so I'm almost out of this and once I'm out of this then I'm going to buy the first aid beauty so maybe I'll try and get a sample of the first aid beauty eye cream to see how I like it but yeah so I'm gonna go to bed it is like almost 10 o'clock so I'm gonna put in my retainers and go to bed one thing actually i should share these retainer cases i get them on amazon they come in a pack of four and they're amazing because these things just get so gross and you can just have a bunch of different options and colors but these are great and they're inexpensive so i will link them but I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, it's Tuesday morning and I know it kind of looks like I just woke up, but I did not. It is 8.30 and woke up today at like 5.30, took the dog out and then just had some coffee, chilled, I'm still drinking the coffee. It takes me five years to drink coffee and went to the gym, took a shower. Now I'm at my computer. I have a meeting with, I have like my nine to five work computer that I've been doing work for like a half hour. I start that at eight. I don't ever have any calls until 11. So I get like all my admin work done for my nine to five. And then I um, have calls in the afternoons and evenings for that job. And then we're always starting other businesses. So Mitch, Ray, who's Mitch's brother, and I are starting our own business, which is really exciting. So we have three calls a week. We have calls Monday mornings, Tuesday mornings, and Thursday mornings. Give or take the Tuesday, Thursday. Sometimes it's Wednesday, Friday, but this week it's Tuesday, Thursday. And so we have a call at 8.30 um, to go over that business. And I'm not gonna share, obviously, <laughs> what it is until it launches, but um, sorry, truck downstairs, but it's very exciting. We are very excited. So I'm going to have that call just drinking my coffee. I need to make something to eat because I am so hungry, but good morning. Happy Tuesday. I don't know. I'm just keep working, keep making it in the morning. <laughs> I mean, we don't have a, like, I guess we could do it after work, but then that just sucks. Like we're not doing that. We're doing it. Let's do better. Yeah. Um, cool. I just wanted to call and say I love you. I'm going to take a shower and stuff. Alrighty. Get ready. I'm going to take my work bag down, breakfast, and do some work. Alright, so work is over. And this morning, the clothing rack fell almost on poor little Bentley. Luckily, she literally escaped just in time. But. I think it just got too heavy and is leaning. It's just so cheap. And I definitely need to get a new one. But I'm going to put the clothes away that don't need to be hanging on the rack. And then just put the clothes that do need to be hanging on the rack on the rack. Okay. Go ahead. But I'm putting together, I washed our canopy and I'm putting it together. And so I figured I would show you what the canopy looks like torn apart and then put back together we got a new filter so we have filtered replacements actually i should start over what the heck is a canopy canopy is this humidifier and it's it's pretty pricey for a humidifier i would say it's like 120 dollars or something 
but the whole entire thing comes apart and I have the other piece with the, the tub with the water in the bathroom because it's filled with water and the whole entire thing comes apart so that you can wash it in the dishwasher except you don't wash the piece that actually has the fan which makes sense but every month we have a, fil a filter a new filter come and I'll show you what that looks like and so every single month when that comes I stick the pieces in the dishwasher just so we can know it's super super clean so this is the base of it so this is what sits on our nightstand it's a lot smaller than I would have imagined it's not that big which is pretty nice so this part is where the filter the water jug will go and then this part is where the fan will go why are you crying where'd your bone go oh there it is why are you crying the dog has been insane today here's the piece that has the fan on the top so we're just gonna set this here but the filter comes in a little pack like this get rid of this and then this is the filter which I was really surprised when I saw what it looked like it is just a circle like this so basically what you do is you just set this it fits in this part right here so you just put it in there like that and then this you just kind of have to weasel on top of it like so like that do you guys watch Tabitha? I love Tabitha but it's kind of tricky because it needs to be formed into a circle and it just, just, just doesn't come packaged like that but okay and then it comes with this little thing that you put essential oils on and that goes right on the top and then this is the canister full of water that you put in the back and it does not make a mess I can tip it upside down and it looks like just a little bit of water got over there that I'll have to wipe up it was just the smallest amount of water but I think it was honestly just because this was just in the dishwasher and this whole thing is wet so then you take this and you just plug this little piece on the inside and then this button on the top is what turns it on and here it is. So she's really sleek, super nice, super easy. We literally just leave this on all the time because it helps so much. Sorry, my friend texted me something and I'm just confused. But uh, it's called Malibu Rising and oh. Sorry, I'm the worst. I'm the worst at multitasking. It's called Malibu Rising, and I read... What book was it? That I literally just finished reading, and I don't even know if they're by the same author. So this one's by Taylor Jenkins Reid, and I use Libby. It's a app that you can plug in your library card credentials and like rent audiobooks, which is so nice. It saves you so much money. If you like audiobooks, you can also download Libby on a Kindle and order books. Like you can, it's not just for audiobooks, you can get ebooks on a Kindle. And you can get, so you can like put the Libby app on a Kindle, which is incredible. So I, I love Libby. I've been using it for years. But let me see. Um, returns. Oh yeah, same same author, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I just read, and that was incredible. And Taylor Jenkins Reid is the same author, and she wrote, with, I believe it's a she, Malibu Rising. So I'm reading that now, it's super good. I'm just going to organize this bedroom that desperately needs to organize. 